Hey folks, Chris Waters here with Tom McShay to talk about some breaking news this Monday. Gears of War has been sold by Epic Games to Microsoft, so now the exclusive publisher of Gears of War just owns the whole thing. They own the games, the, the past games, the future games, the entertainment pro experiences? Toys. Merchandise. The whole package Baby bibs. is now in Microsoft's court. So uh, what do you think, Tom? What's up with this? Boy, this is a real kick to my anticipation junk, wasn't it? Why? Like it's like, cause Black Tusk was founded in Vancouver, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, to make new games, That's new experiences right. that we've never seen before. In and fact, on their founding, one of the, the founders quoted was, we are working on Microsoft's next big entertainment franchise. We're not working on an existing franchise. We're looking to build the next Halo. Uh, so that's not happening. Now, now they're, they're just bringing back the pony and it's like, Gears is not on its way up. Mm -hmm. It's on its way down. Yeah, it had, the, it had three, you know, strong trilogy and then Gears of War Judgment. Mm, kind of not, not a lot of excitement for that. That yeah. sort of felt like tacked on. Definitely feels like it was sort of contained within the Ooh. previous console generation, but got a whole new studio working on it now. They've got a ton of developers already hired there in Vancouver. So new Gears is coming. What, what do you think it's going to be? Well, it's it's going to be Gears. Like Gears is, a, it's not the most flexible franchise. Like mm -hmm. it's about big dudes with cover and fighting big dudes with guns. Like it, it isn't, I don't think you're gonna see it have like the expansive growth that you could in other genres. Okay. Or other other franchises. So I, I, I think we're gonna see a little bit more of the same. Like they try to mix up the storytelling with judgment, but I think we know what Gears is, don't we? I mean, certainly mechanically it has that, it, it, so much of that game is down to the feel of the shooting and the movement and the characters. And so we're definitely gonna see something similar to that. I guess, you know, as a fan, I'm wondering, the Locust War stuff has sort of already run its course in the past console generation, so maybe there's the Pendulum Wars, which are actually human-on-human -human conflict that tore that planet apart before yeah. Emergence Day, so maybe we'll see some of that. Uh, but you also mentioned something earlier, a Gears of War HD possibly being in the mix. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I imagine we're going to see a remake of the original Gears this year just to keep Gears fresh in people's minds. Kind of like a Halo combat of all the anniversary edition. Yeah, I, but I, I, I kind of feel bad for Black, Black Tusk because I don't know if the people who signed up there knew they were going to be making a Gears. It's certain, all over their website and even on the, there's a lead writer position listed that is uh, helping to work. It says, who can help us bring Microsoft's next big IP to life. So I clearly know. that studio's you know mantra go <laughs> is going to be shifted because now they're working on an old IP. Uh, we talked about what games we might see. Are we going to hear some announcements this year, you think? We might see a teaser. I mean, I think Halo 5 is going to come out in September. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the big one. And that's another studio that was like a brand new studio formed to make someone else's leftovers since Bungie moved on to bigger and better things. That's right. Sort um, of a parallel there of the developers who, you know, the, the franchise that minted them and Microsoft, wow. you know, made their reputations, made tons of money. Now being shuffled back to Microsoft while they go on to do other stuff. Epic Games, in this case, they're working they're... on Fortnite, which is their cooperative yeah. sandbox survival game for the PC. And they've also got other things in the works there, but they haven't announced any of that yet. So. I know, this is because I used to love Gears, mm -hmm. but it just it feels like they're kind of bringing back the band. And it's like, I kind of want to see something else. So this is really disappointing for me because I was I was excited about Black Tusk. I wanted and to see what they could what do. What they were going to come up with? Yeah, I was hoping it would be like the equivalent of like the Order, who was who was making that that new exciting game for yep. for PlayStation Four. I was hoping it was like that's what we'd see. Mm. But instead, of, we're we're going to see more Marcus Phoenix. Oh, Marcus. Well, let us know what you folks think about Gears. Are you excited that it's going to have new life on the Xbox One, or are you like Tom and just kind of <laughs> uh, all right? I understand your apathy, Tom. Uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thanks for watching.